Hello and welcome! So, today we are going to be taking a look at the very excellent and useful rich text label. Now the rich text label is very similar to an ordinary label. You get to type text, any text that you like. I'm not going to write words because my keyboard is right next to my microphone, but you get the idea. You can type some stuff and, unlike in the normal label node, if you type too many lines for it to display, it will create this helpful little scroll bar at the side. And you can see this in action very much. Like the scroll container, you can scroll up and down. Now there are certain options for, you can do this to basically make it like a normal label. You can do this if you just don't want to be able to scroll any further. You can do this in case it's, you know, when you add more text you want it to scroll down with the text. So there are quite a few useful properties with this one, however the one in particular which is maybe the most useful is this BB code option. Now you may be aware BB code is a way of specifying what your text looks like in um, a variety of ways. It's used a lot on old forums. If you've been there you can say, hey this is bold text. Well it's not bold because I haven't specified a particular bold font. Um, maybe it works with italics. No, it does not work with italics. But let's specify a different tag. Let's do center. Well, that one works. We can justify our text right in the center. We can also justify our text to the right. And in addition to that, there's also some other ones. There's like color. We can do blah, blah. I don't know. Random color. There you go. That's like a great. That's almost a background color. But it's very useful, very useful indeed. There are actually a few built-in colors. So if I type blue here, just in text, we will get this nice blue color. But is that really all the rich text label is capable of? Is that really it? Well, no, it isn't. Because in addition to this, do you see this custom effects property here? Well, we can set the size of that. We can load a custom effect. There are loads of these. You can make them yourself in scripts. There's a whole tutorial on how to do that on the official Godot documentation. Um, but in particular, there are built-in effects. For instance, this one I copy and pasted. Never mind, I copy and pasted something else. Give me a moment. Okay, as you can see here, there is a whole documentation section about using the BB code and rich text label. I just want to draw attention to this very cool wave function. I mean, look at this. Uh, hold on, I need to take out the closing tag. But look at that. Um, look at that. You get a nice sort of wavy effect. Now it does seem to truncate at the top, so I wonder if I could do that. And there we go. There is our nice wavy hey text. Now for the longest time I was using a full uh, add-on called Cinderbox. And Cinderbox is very useful, but it's basically just doing what the rich text label uh, is doing now. I was wondering why this plugin is so useful. Why is it not being maintained? The reason is that with custom effects or even the built-in effects, the rich text label is very versatile. Now, if you're looking to actually create your own effects, well, you can use... Don't really know how it works. I haven't looked into this, but it's very useful. This is an excellent node. I like it a lot. I use it a lot. I use it probably more than the actual label node. The only issue with this node is that it is not, you can't do vertical align. So at the moment you can do, uh, if I could spell, you could do that. And that's no issue, but you can't do it vertically. So if you're looking to center something, it can be a little bit tricky. I think most of the time you have to do some stuff. You can get the font, you can say, how big should this string be and you sort of work out the size of the label from that and then you position the label based on that. It's not a great system but it does work. Maybe I'll even do a extra tutorial on that, who knows. Actually why don't I just do that right now? I mean maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I am going to create this control node, okay, and this control node is just here. In fact I'm not going to make it a control node, I'm going to make it a color rect so that you can see exactly what this guy is. He's going to be a nice green color. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this um, this stuff in here. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this programmatically because I might not know um, how much text I want in this rich text label. I might want to set the player's username. Maybe it's going to be an extensible. It could be a paragraph. It could be a word. I don't know. So the first thing I'm going to do is well, I'm just gonna set the rich text labels uh, text. But I'm not gonna set the text. I'm actually gonna set the BB code text. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, now that I've set the BB code text, now you may realize when I set the BB code text in here, in theory, the text will also have updated. I don't, I'm pretty sure it does. Let me just check that real quick. So if I set the rich code, the BB code text, and then I just get the text, it is just, the text is just the text without the BB code. It's super simple. Okay. So now that I have that, I can do some GD script magic to figure out how big this rich text label should be. So I have this vect size thing. I'm going to say, well, what is the vect size? It's going to be, it's going to be the size of this string, basically. Uh, that's that's what I want. How am I going to get the size of this string? Well, there is a very nice uh, function implemented in uh, the font resource, which is get string size. So if I, in theory, had a font, I could get the string size using that font. And I can do that with the rich text label because the rich text label has a font. So I'm going to do some of this. So I can do get font, and I think it'll give me some options. I, I'm just going to go for the normal font. I'm going to say get string size, and then I'm just going to get the text. Not the BB code text, because I don't need to account for the BB code, that will disappear. I just need the normal text. Now with any luck, this will work. And it does. It does work. Now because of the waving, it kind of clips at the top and the bottom, and you can see that. And in fact, I'm going to make it very obvious what's happening by just creating this color vect here, and I'm going to set it to show height. So there we go. This is the actual size of my rich text label as displayed. Okay, so if I want to center this, uh, this rich text label within my greater control node, I have a good way of doing that because, as some simple mathematics will tell you, it is just... Uh, let me just write it down because I'm not sure I can say it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's just that right there, and we can see that it is. So it's, all I'm doing here is I'm setting the position of this rich text label, and the position of all the control nodes is at the top left corner, that's important to, rem to remember here, um, and that's going to be halfway down the control node minus halfway through the rich text label. And there you have it, that, that is an, a wonderfully centered uh, rich text label. And you can do anything you like with that. That is yours. If you enjoyed this very small tutorial, I suppose, then uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends and family, get a tattoo. I said this last time, paint your walls in Godot colors. Stay tuned for more videos like this one if you like these videos. Goodbye.